right, all right. Shalom, shalom, Israel. This is your brother Anai Yaakov. Uh, make sure I got my mic where it need to be. Uh, let's see here. Okay, all right. So, my spirit won't let me do my next task until I speak what's on my heart. It's like an itch. In order to scratch it, I have to tell you. And then I could go in peace. So, and this is just the beginning, what I'm getting ready to say, of everything that I have to reveal to y'all. Everything that you all need to know in order to avoid the calamities that are yet still to come. Now, if you haven't realized it, if you haven't contemplated on it, if you're still questioning, if you're wondering, if you're, if you're saying to yourself, is this the time or is this not the time? If you're, if you're confused, let me give you a word and tell you this with a sure voice that this is 100% now the time and hour hold on one second all right so this is 100% right now the very time in the hour of judgment. And I'm going to prove that to you. Now, my proof is inorganic. In order for you to get the organic proof that you need, you have to live in it. You have to walk in it. You have to put what I say to the test. And then your own experiences will reveal to you what time we are truly in did you understand what i said isn't it not something that dawns on you when i use the word inorganic or organic right so now we are going to go through this process everything that I, what i'm getting ready to say you may not believe but I will do my best to explain it to you so that in your experience, you come to believe. Now, if anyone's wondering if they have the Holy Spirit or not, I am here to tell you of a truth that each and every person that is walking on the face of this earth has within them a holy spirit you understand what i'm saying now anaya whoa you just spoke something that just dawned on me like how 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 are you saying this this is this is crazy this is this is blasphemy right i say that the same way i say everybody on this earth everybody that is now living must breathe the air and in that way i tell you everyone has within them the holy spirit now this holy spirit is 100 percent the very word of god that you all are looking for i'm going to tell you how to find it okay but it is the very word of God that you all are looking for. So, now, let me speak to intellectuals. Every spirit is holy because there is only one father of spirits. There is only one who is the birth, the creator of spirits. If every spirit were not holy, then there would suggest that there is another father out there giving birth to.
to spirits. Now, you say to yourself, maybe he created the bad and maybe he created the good. This is absolutely impossible. You may open up a book and you may read that he is capable of both the good and the bad, but this is utterly a kingdom divided against itself. He cannot create both the good and both the bad. The bad is simply a result of man. Now, any bad that there is, is a result of disobedient man, who man alone sins. Man alone walks contrary to his native purpose or organic purpose. You understand what I'm saying? And so because of that, man being endowed with the same attributes as his father has also created something that he calls satan he has created something that he calls the world you understand what i'm saying and out of this creation this creation is man in his selfish pride wanting to stand up and have his own world he says father or creator one who created me I can do this. I can create my own world. I can govern my own world. I don't need you to govern me. I can do it myself. The father says, okay, go ahead. Do it yourself. Now, he has taken what is a Holy Spirit within him. And the garments of the spirits or the garments of the spirit are the attributes of the most high wisdom love righteousness truth uh uh, uh, uh faith um uh, uh knowledge understanding uh temperance uh you got them all right there these are all the garments if you will these are all garments that we put on our spirit now these you have gluttony greed laziness anger so on and so forth down the entire list these are the garments we currently wear now because of these that holy spirit still doing exactly what its property is meant to do grow in whatever you feed it now these if they clothe the spirit the soul will grow around it in that form now, if you go back to your original garment, the soul will, the spirit will grow in strength according to that you have clothed it, clothed your spirit. So, when we realize that our spirit or soul or our entire being is made to grow, and that the father being infinite is all the room we need to grow at infinitum. Okay? Listen at what I'm saying to you. Now. For those who. Select and choose. As they please. To wear the garment that they will. They have every right to. We are in an age right now that because of the work that was done in the ancient days by the righteous, that includes Christ and everyone y'all want to deem as righteous. When you understand the true nature of their story, the true thing in which they did spiritually. See, we, we see everything carnally. So we say what happened in the world, but no one wants to perceive what happened in the spirit that changed the very face of the earth now before christ there were idols there were gods erected there was pagan worship right there was blood sacrifice right christ did a spiritual work which is imparting wisdom well enough high enough than the wisdom that currently subsides in the world. So Christ increased man by imparting on the, onto their spirits a higher wisdom by way of 
preaching and, and, and telling and, and, and prophesying, you understand, and letting people know the error of their ways. You see, the world hated him because he constantly told the world it was bad. And so because of that work, even though it may have looked a hot mess in his regard on the, on the carnal side, on the fleshly side, but because the things that were done to him were surrounded by the kingdom, the, the laws of the Most High. He opened up the doorway for the Holy Spirit to be established within the being of every individual. Now, how do you say this? There's no evidence of speaking in tongues and there is no, I'm gonna tell you exactly what the true evidence because i will tell you this 100 percent nothing that can be possibly evident to you that can go both ways was presented to you by your father what does that mean anaya just like how men claim i am the reincarnation of king solomon or king david right Wicked men can grab hold of these things and claim to be the reincarnation of this or that. You don't think the father's wise enough to foresee that, right? And so to establish and put in place a, a, a order so as to prevent men from thwarting the very work of his hands. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, because... Those who establish or claim that they have the Holy Spirit simply because they have the evidence of spiritual uh, 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 powers, if you will, miracles, if you will. Because of that, you don't think that the Father foresaw, foresaw that? You don't think that he understood that and so established a means whereby man can no longer use uh, 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 I have the evidence of speaking in tongues or I can work miracles or I can cure, I can heal because the devils can do miracles. Did you not understand that? What I said, the devils can work mighty miracles and tricks before your very eye is not the antichrist who you all do not perceive and understand that is in you already, which is your eagle in yourself. Because I'm going to tell you like this, anything that is not according to the will of the Most High is against him. And so if you are not fully overcoming your sins, then you stand to some measure, to some degree against your father. And until you fight with all your might, you understand what I'm saying? To relinquish or to rid yourself of Satan within you, then you will not understand or perceive what I'm telling you now. Now, having gone through this, where's my towel at? Cause I gotta make sure I keep the, the moisture down. But having going through explaining that to you, now, everyone has the Holy Spirit within them, which means that from their organic sense, they were holy to begin with. From their very beginning, they were pure to begin with. You understand what I'm saying? Because you come from that which is pure. That means you started off with purity. Because there is no shadow of turning in him. So as to create impurities. You understand what I'm saying? Everything that he touches is a success. Everything that he touches is full in, in no need of anything else but he alone is sufficient enough for it. And so I am here to tell you, every each and every one of you, every individual, that just as the sun is sufficient enough to give its light through all the earth, so greater is your father sufficient enough to give you of himself, which are these attributes, to give you of himself. And so... Each and every one of these attributes speak to your heart when developed, 
They speak to your heart in a specific way according to the nature or the attributes, which is how the attributes were even perceived and discovered. You understand what I'm saying? And so someone discovered sincerity within them. Someone discovered self-control from having just simply obeyed the voice, the unction of the voice of the Most High within them. And so all of these attributes were discovered and named by those that are, that, 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 that they, they named, they were named by their own properties, by their own workings, right? And so you begin to understand how to, how, how you will understand that the Holy Spirit is within you. See now, good, ha, huh. good is one thing that we are meant to work in all of the earth, period. That is our purpose. We work the good to the highest of our ability, right? That is one of the things that we do. Yeah, we do wisdom to the highest of our ability, truth. Every one of these attributes, we try to go as high as we can. And you can never go wrong in doing that. You understand what I'm saying? But you can go wrong with these ones. Y'all been using these all day long. You've been using anger. You've been using lust. You've been losing greed. You've been using all of these pedophilia. Uh, 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 homosexuality you've been using abortion you've been using all of these things now it's time for us to assess what has become of the usage of these in the earth and what has become or what are we void of on account of having exercised these within our soul you understand what I'm saying what are we void of Where's the peace? Where's the harmony? Where's the respect? You understand what I'm saying? And so now, if you want to get to work in making sure that this thing is or the kingdom of heaven comes, it is up to each and every one of you to work on self. To work on self, to rid one's self of self so that the will of the most high alone stands within you what is the will of the most high when you say things like this i will only yield to the highest wisdom spoken then you you yield to wisdom itself and even though no matter from whom the wisdom is spoken when the wisdom is spoken if it be higher and you can sense this with it within you, you have the right and ability to sense this. And I will tell you, good. So many times we pass over the opportunity to do good, but we heard the voice, did we not? Oh. So many times did we walk over the opportunity to show forth respect, righteousness, diligence. So many times we neglect to work these things in the earth and then we say, I can't hear the voice of God. You understand what I'm saying? We, we say God does not speak, yet, yet each and every one of us are being pushed and called and, 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 and tormented with, with, with good. And it turns only to a torment because you want to walk this way. But for those who walk in accord with the Most High, when these attributes sing within their spirit, they play the same tune. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? They play the same tune. And so, to tune yourself to the will of the Most High, you must tend to the highest form of any and every attribute that you know of, that you discover. They're infinite. This is just a small. This ain't even scratching the surface. But that infinite amount of attributes, if you begin to tend to the, the spiritual work, because that's what that is, to grow these in you is your spiritual work. And I tell you this, you will always be weak in the presence of the Most High. Your hand will reach and try to do a work. It will always fall short. It is the duty of the Most High to make it right, to turn it perfect.
that which you may have mis uh, uh, done in a mistaking, in a timid manner. You understand? Stepping and crawling towards him. I'm so scared to enter into the, the, the spiritual life, Father. But 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 I'm trying. Look, look, I'm I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna see. And so you walk further and further, and then the father says, No need to worry, no need to be afraid, my child. As you work, I am with you. And the fact that you are weak and you make your mistakes, have joy in this because the perfection of your mistakes is the proof you need that God is real. <laughs> Lord, I can't, I can't, I can't go until I get this, get, get this uh, uh, thing to y'all so, so that y'all have what you need. And so... Man says, I don't hear the voice of the Most High because they're covered in these. And so to remove the plank out of your eye so that you can clearly see these is the work that you need to do. And we are entering into the second resurrection or a resurrection that you all need to pay attention to. Whether it be the first or the second to you, I will tell you the nature of this resurrection. No other person, no other brother, no other sister is your keeper. No one else is responsible for you but you. The only thing with self is that self is your responsibility. Self is your only keep. You see, you only have one talent. Your one talent is you and the voice of the Most High within you. You understand what I'm saying? And your entire complete form is the Most High. Now, what is his voice? When you look at these and you see how we already, we've already experienced all of them. We see how they dictate us. We get the thoughts from everything we see around us. And these things, when turned on, they give us thoughts of lust. And so we get those thoughts of lust constantly coming in. And this is what we call temptation, right? Because we look out at every single thing. Hear what I'm telling you. We look out at every single thing and we misperceive them because we are formed in the wrong way. And so there's a way to look at all the bad and see nothing but good. You understand what I'm saying? And when you're able to see everything that, that is good, the misconfigured word of God within you becomes now configured to the right form so that when you look at everything around you, you all begin to see the, the very hand of the Most High working within you. So instead of saying, Oh, this is pestilence. You won't be questioning in this with this garment on while looking at pestilence. You won't be questioning with this garment on saying to yourself, is this really the hour or is this really the hand of God? No, it's just a mistake. A man did it. You got this garment on. So when you look at the world, you're going to perceive carnally. That's what I call the carnal life and carnal living. But when you put this garment on, you see that there is a natural order that is being disrespected in the earth. And because of that disrespect, there are laws, there are decrees, there are statutes established by the hand of the Most High that when nature itself perceives that man is going in the wrong way and there will never be a way for him to turn around, she is ordered and decreed to renew the face of the earth, right? She is ordered and decreed to turn the, 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 um, the wealthy countries that are selfish, all praises into, in the, to the most high, to turn their lands into deserts. You understand what I'm saying? And so for those that are poor, they are decreed to turn their desert lands into forests. And so you see these things happening round about you, right? People are looking at the Sahara getting a lot of rain and they're saying, oh, it's the end time. Not knowing that some deserts are being turned back or renewed back into forests. You understand what I'm saying? And so when it comes down to it, the voice of the Most High, all praises to the Most High, 
turns out to be what we call consciousness. It turns out to be the very speaking and issues that we calculate in our mind. Out of this turns out to be the word of the Most High. Now, when we deal with, we deal with the issues first here, before we do anything here. You understand what I'm saying? The issues in the the, the thought enters in it turn it, and, and we deal with it as an issue, form it into whatever we want out of the properties within us, the heart, out of man's heart. You understand? Reveals your own nature. And so when people talk to me, I'm able to 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 to, to, to see if they're using any of these properties. Or any of these attributes to derive their own conclusions, right? And so because of that, I see that their spirit is a, at a low grade. And so in order to heal that, that is a sickness. All of these are sicknesses. In order to heal that, the only way to heal that is through wisdom. Wisdom is a healing remedy for the spirit. Now, and then when you impart the wisdom on people, they, 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 they feel some type of eureka. They feel some type of... Oh man, be a, a reminder. They they feel some type of wait a second, this is higher, this is better, this feels better to perceive it this way. It feels better, right? It's a healing process, right? And so right now, in this judgment, because of the work Christ done, which is a two-edged sword type of work, you understand what I'm saying? And the only one that's making the sword dual bladed is man himself, the forger of the sword that is his spirit within him. And so he forges his spirit or his spirit has two different natures to perceive in two different ways so that out of the contemplation thereof, wisdom is formed within him. Truth is formed within him, right? As long as his inclinations are pure and sincere in reaching up to the highest truth the highest wisdom the highest understanding that one can claim and know for a fact that they hear the word of god and now you begin to describe the living word to men now you begin to understand what is the living word within you because understand you me the whole word was derived from a spirit that wore all of these attributes if not more the very word you see the inspiration that comes from studying and understanding these things when you say i understand i have a, i have an understanding of wisdom so now everywhere you look you will you will you will perceive and be inspired based upon the level degree of that understanding and then you begin to talk about the spiritual grade in every man yea those that kill have the grade of one those that teach and let people know have a grade of 99 if you will but them that are wishy-washy have a grade of 50, right? Standing in the middle, in their spirit. And men are choosing the level with which their spirit will stand in the presence of the Most High. Of course, he's 100. <laughs> and then when man joins to him, he is the one that makes them 100. But without man, he's just, he's, he's wanting. You see, this is spiritual poverty right here. This is spiritual poverty, spiritual sickness. This is spiritual wealth right here. Spiritual health right here. You understand what I'm saying? Spiritual growth and spiritual declination. You understand what I'm saying? You decline here, you grow here. Come on. And so people, hear me when I tell you. Everything that you do gives your spirit a grade higher or lower. Every time, everything that you do, it works your spirit into damnation or to resurrection. And so the resurrection turns out to be a self-derived work. You all have to choose right now whom you will serve. 
And so if you choose to serve in righteousness and all truth in the will of the Most High, you understand that his will has already been written out for you. His will and testament has already been written out for you as to what you have inherited from him. Just like any father writes out his will so that his children are rightly, rightly inherit according to, and he does so, he does so according to the, 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 the relationship he has had with them, right? A father writes out the will to his children according to the relationship and their abilities to handle or do wherewith what he entitles or what he wants to, he, he wants them to inherit when he's in a sense gone. But the father is never gone. The most high, he is never gone. He's ever present. In fact, he is the very spirit, the life and breathing, the moving, the motion of your body. Everything about you is his and not yours. And then you begin to learn and understand how you own nothing, not even yourself. But yet he has given you the one thing that belongs to you. That is yourself. And you are the keeper of self. And you can keep it here with these attributes or you can keep it here dressed in these attributes. You understand what I'm saying? And these will cause your spirit to either rise in that's resurrection or decline in that's hell. You understand what I'm saying? And so we work our way into hell or heaven. I promise you every work you do is a work towards Heaven or hell. You understand what I'm saying? And those that care to do no work. You are choosing to be a nothing to no kingdom at all. You understand what I'm saying? And so you would say that that's better than hell. But I guarantee you there's a secret far beyond that that you do not know for those that are in hell. But I care not to, 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 to relay that secret to you. But ultimately, if you want it, go do your research. And I, I, I'm sure I'll eventually feel within my spirit that it is right for me to share that with you. But right now, if I share it with anybody, it'll be with those that are righteous and those that are true, those that are aiming. You understand what I'm saying? And then if I share it, I'm responsible. I don't, I don't want to. I'm going to leave that alone. But ultimately, I'll tell you like this. This is the voice of the devil. These are the voice. This is the voice of the most high. This is its appearance. This is how it looks. This is, this is when you tend to these things. When you tend to these things, this is a spiritual life. When you tend to these things, this is the carnal life. You understand what I'm saying? And so, as you tend, so are you judged immediately. Which means we are in the midst of judgment. And the resurrection will turn out to be those that master these and begin to perform the work in this world right now to establish these things within them. And then once established, well, really... Before you can get to these, you have to remove all of these. And that's what overcoming your sin is. Is the removal of your current garment. When you overcome sin, you remove your current garment. Because you sin against no one but yourself. You harm no one but yourself in your sin. The Father pities you with these on. You understand what I'm saying? So that's grace and mercy. But he pities you with these things on. But then when you take them off, he expects from you with these things on to work and to do according to that which you had you, you did with when you had these on. You acted when you had these on. You worked in the corner kingdom when you had these on. You was at work on time. You did your things on time. You aspired with all of your being on time, with every essence, with every ounce of you. You gave your whole life, your whole being to these. So when you put these on, why not to these, right? And so you begin to work righteousness in the earth. 
you begin to understand your freedom in the most high you are free to go wherever you choose that is what this judgment is about every man for himself free to go wherever he choose but i guarantee you when you go here you will literally be doing for no one else but yourself and when you do, you will only be harming yourself. You will do nothing for, but you will do everything against yourself. Here, you will do everything for the Most High. And nothing for yourself. You see, the process from going here to here is the removal of that ego you were given or, or, or that was thrust upon you. In this world that you had no as an infant we have no ability to say no we accept whatever we get and so we are caused by parents that are or and, and this is this is where you begin to understand the work of the spiritual kingdom because the spiritual kingdom will establish uh, 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 works it will establish uh, uh, ordinances and 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 uh, uh, common decrees that will work against that or that will that will remove the cause of spirits being thrust upon with sin and with self and with degradation. You understand what I'm saying? And so parents will begin to work these things and in their children when they're young. You understand what I'm saying? And so you understand how the spiritual kingdom will be different or the kingdom of heaven will be different from this carnal kingdom right now that is being removed right before our very eyes. And understand you, me, you are the only one removing it yourself. Because you think that you can continue to work against the father and not see downfall, not see crumble not see you understand what i'm saying there was one point when we were united all over the world living in harmony respecting ourselves respecting others not stepping on nobody's toes nations thrived off of this but now we all speak a different language like the tower of babel and so because Every nation is in it for himself. I will tell you this. Hear me when I say every nation is judged as a single individual. Every order, every decree, every group, every one of you that group yourselves together are judged as a single individual. And so as falls the head, the whole body will go with it. That's why you need to understand why I say every man for himself because we will all understand if you will we will all understand the terror of leaving it up to someone else's responsibility for your salvation you will understand the potential error for having done so and not standing up in your own right you see all of y'all are waiting for someone to pick you up into resurrection but i guarantee you no one is in the kingdom of heaven who didn't freely because that's a part of freedom diligently that is a part of it uh willingly that is a part of it uh uh, uh, uh righteously respectfully uh, uh urgently uh, uh uh faithfully of their own organic accord enter into the kingdom of heaven you understand what i'm saying and so you will stand next to Moses and you will see that he stands up on his own two feet. He's no longer a baby crawling. You will see in the kingdom of heaven, Adam, uh, uh, David, uh, 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 Solomon, uh, 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 Samson, uh, 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 all the righteous forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You will see Christ. You will see everybody standing on their own accord. And this is the kingdom of heaven. You understand what I'm saying? Though they may look like one is dominating or ruling the other, no, they are there because they are the one that best suits the position. You understand what I'm saying? And so all men serve the Most High in the Most High alone in the spiritual king. <laughs> they seek out these things. Who is the best fit? What is the best wisdom? 
who 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 from our discussion spoke the highest and the most fitting of all when we want to tackle this situation and so when they stand up in their properties and in their willingness to even go so are positions established so are or places established so even now you will be established when you stand up on your own twos. See, salvation is a work. You understand what I'm saying? It is not a thing that is titled to you and boom, it is completely and utterly established. No, it is only begun when you want to seek out your salvation. Salvation has only begun for you. Yea, but you must work these off and work these on. You understand what I'm saying? And that is the work in it of itself. You understand? So you must overcome your sins. You must get rid of your lust. You must get rid of your lust down to the very drop thereof. You must get rid of all of your sins down to the very drop thereof. Because understand you me. Those who are picking up bad habits are reaping right now the reward. When you understand addiction. When you understand sickness. When you understand a uh, a uh, uh, limita uh, 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 shortness of life a shortening of life when you understand all of these things that come upon the corner you will say wait a second they're actually being judged right now as we speak when you see the destruction and the things that are happening out there you say to yourself they're actually being judged right now i see that they did this or they have been working in this manner for such a long time this has come upon them and then men say wait a second my nation is better than yours or this is the nation of god or that is the nation of god i tell you now i tell you right now of a truth there is no nation on the face of this earth that is acting in the name of the most high not israel which is overseas or the israelis which govern israel right now not Egypt, not Guatemala, not New Mexico or Mexico, not, not any of the seven continents. You understand what I'm saying? On the face of this earth, not one country, not one kingdom, not one continent is doing the will of God. But yet the kingdom of heaven will come out through every individual. You understand what I'm saying? Scattered abroad throughout all the earth. In you right now lies the ability to raise yourself up into the kingdom of heaven yea you begin when you begin to work these out or when you begin to work these out and work for these to develop these within your spiritual senses you understand what i'm saying because all of these become a sense we sense from inorganic um, uh, 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 matter as well as organic matter. So when you're sitting down contemplating and you want to say, wait a second, Father, <sighs> overcoming my sins, and then you hear a voice that says, you did this sin just the other day. That's one you got to remove. You did this sin just now. That's one you got to remove. You plan on, you, you feel yourself weak to overcome this sin, this uh, uh, sin in the future that you listen to and you got to remove. That is the organic word of God within each and every one of you. Each and every one of us hears, hears the good. You understand what I'm saying? But yet we neglect the good. A neglect of these, you will have to pay for it. A continuation of these, you will have to pay for. You understand what I'm saying? And the payment is the coming out of these into these. The cost of coming out of these and entering into these will be your payment. When you, when you can't realize that wisdom is in you, or when you can't realize that these are in you, when you can't see these in you and you're still questioning if you're faithful, if you're still questioning any of these attributes within you that are of the most high, then you understand that you may have, you may just may be clothed with these and ignorance is a part of that. You get understanding when you open up to these. 
ignorance while you're covered in these. People of God, those that seek to do the will of the Most High with all their heart, you can do it. I am letting you know right now that you can stand up in the will of the Most High. You need no other. You only need to work out the Father's voice within you. Because he's always speaking. His speaking is through inspiration. And so when we're clothed with whatever we clothe, thereby we will receive the inspiration. And so those of you who look and say, why are people out here doing wrong and evil? They are inspired to by the clothes that, they're, that they wear. You understand what I'm saying? They are inspired, all each and every one of you, to do the evils that you're doing by the clothes you have on right now. And so the inspiration is getting stronger in all of you who do not understand, those who perceive according to these, that's called the anger of God. Those who perceive according to these, that's called the love of God. You understand? Or the word of God, if you will, because love is also an attribute. But that's called the, the word of God. You understand what I'm saying? The anger of God. The word of God, because this is no word, none whatsoever of the most high, it cannot be endowed with 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 or crowned with being the word of the most high. That word came from somewhere else. There's an inspiration flowing within you always, constantly, continuously over and over again. And that inspiration has a configuration within you. And so by that configuration, you receive. And so each and every one of you, you all are receiving according to that you have been practicing in the earth. You are all receiving correctly according to the truth you say is mine. Each and every one of us are getting exactly what we deserve. Since man has declared, I am my own, I follow my own truth, I follow my own this. Since man has declared all of these things, Teachers are not happening in the form that they need to happen anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, leaders and governors are, not, are no longer in the form that they need to be. Right now the spirit is rising in every single man to stand on his own accord. In every single man to follow his own beliefs. You understand what I'm saying? It is now rising in every single way for man to make the full resolve to follow his own beliefs. And so that which you are clothed with, all praises to the Most High, by that you will be dictated to do the evils that you're doing or the righteousness beyond the righteousness and beyond the righteousness further and further in, in, into righteousness or further and further into wickedness. This declination is hell this resurrection is life in eternal life if you will because this goes eternally this my brothers and sisters goes and then stops or if you will it goes eternally in the in the other way whichever one moves you the best Every one of us have the Holy Spirit. We are all being inspired right now to hear the voice of the Most High. And so we do hear His voice by way of inspiration. And that inspiration plays upon our heart, which is our spirit, our mind, our thoughts. You understand what I'm saying? It plays within us and it resonates within our feelings, right? And in, in, in within our emotions. And by these emotions, I'm going to tell you, when anger consumes you, you react. When it consumes you and you have no establishment no house built well enough to withstand the anger that is now trying to resonate within you you will react accordingly and so it is not the most high's fault that you have thwarted his inspiration within you by way of erroneous virtues but i'm telling you right now family that when you correct or resurrect those original virtues within you. <laughs> Father, these are your words and not mine. I pray that these people understand. This is all being spoken, not in pride, but in humility. 
I want you all to receive what I'm telling you. I love each and every one of you. All that have hurt me, all that have not hurt me, all that I know, all that I do not know, all that are born and all that are yet to be born. I, within my heart, want to give this understanding to you with all of my being. And so I'm trying my best to put out the work so that you all can hear. I don't want you to hear and look at my face and say, I don't want to listen to that man. Because don't hear me. If you will, close your eyes and just listen to the words. And let them play upon your heart, if you will. And as they play, tell me the tune and how they feel. And know that a Eureka is a tuning of your spirit. You understand what I'm saying? In a trouble, a hurt, whatever that resonates from these that you all do not like the feeling of. Understand you don't like the feeling because it's out of tune. But when you play right. And the heavenly harps, if you will, are attuned right. We will play a music, a sound that resonates so well men will have no no choice but to recognize that this is the kingdom of heaven coming right before their very eyes. But I'm going to tell you like this. We are now getting ready to come upon a time which I believe, I know for a fact. In fact, I, 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 I went back to my, my original trying to get you to believe. Or I went from my original trying to get you to believe. So let me get back to that. Right now is the time. Let's not look to the future anymore. If you do not establish the responsibility and authority and the, 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 the revelation, the resolve, the whatever you need, the affirmation of right now being the time, you will miss the mark. You understand what I'm saying? Because y'all waiting for work to be done when the work needs to be done by you. Resurrection, everyone in, in the order of resurrection is self-rising. You understand what I'm saying? Self-rising only because they listen to the word of the Most High within them and they rise according to it in them. And so you look into the kingdom of heaven and you see only the strength of man's spirit all around. And so when you see a great spirit standing right in, in, in front of you, right in your presence, you only say that great spirit is also me. Showing me what I could be in the presence of the most high, working with the most high in harmony to, with him. And so just like Abraham or just like uh, Adam or not Adam, it is uh, Abel and, and Cain, Cain and Abel. When Abel did a good thing in the presence of the Most High and the Most High only turned to Cain to tell him that if you only do the like, so shall you also be blessed. And so I tell you all right now, if you only do the like, do the work, you will be blessed. This is faith. This is faith. This is the spiritual life. That is what I want to encourage you all to do. That is what I want to encourage you all to be. And to walk and to chase after. And to crown yourself with all of these. So that you remove or remove these crowns and establish within yourself these. That is a work that you need to do. No man, no one else, not even Christ will do it for you. You understand what I'm saying? No, now he just said something that scared me. You see, Christ speaks just like every other brother in the order of those that are ahead of us doing the work or having done the work. Like Moses, they're ahead of you. Abraham, they're ahead of you. You pick up their, their experiences and you read their experiences and you learn vicariously. Because the Most High has given us a vicarious ability to learn from the experiences that are around us unto good or unto evil. And so Christ will also stand as a word spoken, but he will not force you. That is what I mean. 
No one in the kingdom of heaven will force you to do anything for this will 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 um um uh if you will this will void you of freedom now them that are wicked you are of a different story you must be uh, uh voided of freedom only because of this if the wicked were allowed to enter into the kingdom of heaven they will they will uh birth all type of discord as they have birthed discord or caused been the source of discord in this earth and so the proof is the fact that the wicked will never turn themselves around and so in order to keep them from hurting not only themselves but all of the order that is round about them that is the kingdom of heaven they must serve they must be put in servitude if you will and their servitude is in hell and so the fires of hell also work and rise up in, in, in their nature or condense. And in, in, in it's, it's an alchemical process, if you will, a chemistry process, if you will, that goes through from the fires of hell because the wood is thrown into the stubble. And the stubble that, grow, that, that uh, uh, is thrown in, uh, 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 the, the stubble is thrown into the fire and the, and the fire is increased, right? And the fire is used for the dissolution of the spirits that 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 are that are dissolved in hell you understand what i'm saying and so dissolve yourself of these by the fire of your own spirit and need not an external of fire to dissolve these within you when you dissolve yourself of these attributes, these carnal attributes, you will now be absolved of these. They will absolve you. You understand what I'm saying? They will absorb you. They will become a part of you. They will manifest in you, if you will. And show forth the properties of the voice of the Most High that is already within each and every one of us. And dare man say that his consciousness is but a thing when he learns that the consciousness that speaks within him is the dictates of his father, the inspiration of his father, telling him and instructing him. And man says, Father, instruct me. But he has, an atten he has intended to wisdom in order to hear his instruction. He has intended to the truth so that he can rightly hear his instruction. You see, if the father speaks to you, in the manner in which you want him to speak to you he will speak a thing that will be harmful to you because you don't know who he is and then when he manifests himself to you he say no no you're not my god you run the other way and so before he does that he has to make sure you are prepared and ready to receive him cleansed and ready to receive him you understand what i'm saying and so them that are being inspired something else is playing these tunes because his spirit is made to be inspired and so man starts to learn from whence comes lust and gluttony and greed what plays upon these things but the very world i built around me and so when man builds the world according to the kingdom of heaven right Everything around him speaks the word of the Most High. But right now, inorganically, everything is speaking to man. In the wrong essence and nature because the purpose of everything is mixed and matched. And so man has gotten to the point to where he's mixing and matching his own purpose, right? His own true nature, right? Into a different thing. So he is establishing himself with a mark. That he can't turn away from. And so you understand the mark of his bestial nature. <laughs> People look. All that to say this. We are in the midst of judgment. Your inspiration. That you receiving. Whether it be from the most high inspiration in it of itself is a property within you that allows you to hear hear 
within your mind, right? And so the hearing within your mind is from the very order and construct of the things around you or the things within you. And so you say, I'm sick, right? And you manifest these things, right? And so you look at this, you look at the world and say, there's so much evil around me. Or there's everything, uh, uh, you, you enter into a corner uh, uh, and, and famous and, and fortune and, and luxuries and all of the things that satisfy you in this world. When these were meant to originally satisfy you, you are satisfied by these things. Anything that you deal with, with your with your uh your uh your luxuries they 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 feed your laziness right they 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 teach you to to your your different type of food that you that you go to your culin your culinary schools to master right and uh 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 or uh, uh, not even your culinary schools that uh, uh, a lot of y'all don't even go to color culinary schools you just start a restaurant right and then you put all all the 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 the, the most uh, uh, carnally loved foods on your plate, right? And so, when you put all of these things on your plate, you begin to indulge in your greed, right? And so, Christ said, "You are what you eat." And a lot of y'all are sitting here putting on your on your plate when the objective of what you put on your plate is not health. The objective of what you put on your plate is your lusts, the things in which you lust for, right? The flesh that you eat, right? And the in the way you 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 dress it all up, right? So that when you when you when you bite down into it, the taste buds within you are so satisfied. And so your work for your food is your taste buds and not your health. But oh, when you tend to these things. You learn that the things that you eat also affect your hearing in all of these things. When you eat something that has passed through the work of death, killing and eating. You understand what I'm saying? When you eat something that has gone through a thing. Just like water, when a wa when water passes through impurities, that water that it that that has passed through those impurities is also impure. It takes to the nature of that in which it has been has gone through. It takes up that memory and it passes it on through whatever takes of the essence thereof. Now, when you deal with these things. And you deal with only everything that has passed through the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom or nature itself. Nature, you take these things that have passed through and it has gone through nothing that dealt with it going through fear, torture, death or anything. It, it had none of these in it. And so you eat everything that has only this in it, only these attributes in it. Because these attributes are a working. And so when, every, when, when you have any of these attributes here. Let's see. Is killing an attribute of the most high. And some of y'all struggle with that answer. But killing is not an attribute of the most high. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all still struggling with that answer. But some of y'all understand killing is not an attribute of the most high. When you get to killing, you get to carnal attributes and only the works of man's hands. You understand what I'm saying? But when it comes down to killing, y'all are, 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 are void of the understanding that when you kill a thing, all of its experiences pass on to you. And then you begin to feel what it felt. Know what it knew. Uh, 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 be addicted to what it was addicted to or, 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 or whatever it takes everything that that animal has experienced from its birth up until now passes on to you just like the seed of man when you, you all have, have the very uh, 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 life force that we are thriving off of right now so diminished 
that when you birth a child, they grow with defects and things of that nature, right? When you give birth to a child because of everything that you've experienced, the child inherits also the attributes that you have within you. And so you understand how when you give birth to a certain child, right? They're angry and don't understand why. They sickly and don't understand why, right? You say these things are inherited, but you don't want to admit that they are inherited because of the habits you lived in your life. And you don't want to understand the connection of how we need to cultivate the seed in all of the earth, in every, in all of man. You understand? And so, because that seed is, is messed up, that, 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 that messed up nature of the seed will pass away. When the father establishes a right medium to channel life through. And so man is going to be cut off, if you will. Or wicked man is going to be cut off from the ability to destroy that, that nature, right? They won't, uh, uh, and I'm going to tell you like, well, no, I can't even tell you that even if they will, because it won't be right for those that are born in, 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 in hell or whatever have you. Um, uh, that, that, that'll be against some of the attributes up here. And that's how you learn to dictate what, what is the word of the Most High. When y'all open up your Bible, all praises to the Most High for this uh, 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 article of wisdom as well. When you open up the, 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 the Holy Bible and you read things like God is jealous or, 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 or God is angry or, 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 or the Most High this or anything that's of a lesser nature that speaks like a man would speak is not the word of the Most High. I tell you now that is not the word of the most high the word of the most high is always formed to these anything that the father speak will also be an aid to your spirit we are meant to be like him so if he says anything that 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 is of vengeance or that is of of pride or that is of 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 any type of nature that is is not meant to be within us that is not the word of the most high because men because the father says, I am a vengeful God. Men walk around with vengeance on within them. And they, they try to reason and establish a specific point in which they can fully be resolved to act on vengeance. You understand what I'm saying? If the Most High has not vengeance within him, then man can find no resolve, no excuse, no reason to act on any of these attributes. So we've got to completely separate this from this, that from this. You understand what I'm saying? In order to figure out who your father is, you must completely relinquish him or absolve him of the accusations. Because that's all that they are or have been. For all of this time, we must absolve the father first of all. Because this is also because you got to purify your image of him too. You understand what I'm saying? You got to work on how you see him too. You got to change this too as well. In order to tend to the right attributes, you got to change how you see the father. And because you all see the father in the wrong ways or carnal ways, you serve a different God from the one that you are meant to serve. And so the forgiveness you need will heal that so that you can see him aright. You understand what I'm saying? So that you can perceive him right and hear his word and his voice right. And stop listening to these things because I'm telling you right now that even the Holy Bible, the thing y'all hold dear to your heart, this dead speech of, 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 of men that, have, that, that, are, that are passed on and gone, right? But you hold on to these words, these things that accuse the father of different things. Now, in it, there are great treasures. Don't get me wrong. But now it's time for man to stand up and rise on his own accord. All of us have been, not, been doing nothing but sucking on milk, but never figuring out exactly how the prophets prophesied, how the man of God heard the word of God, how the man of God was inspired to do all that he did in, in that Bible that is good. How was he inspired to do these things if these things were not in fact a part of his own members? inspired within his own being you understand what i'm saying and so we can develop these things 
the power is not lost. We can develop these things. The Most High is not quiet. We can develop these things. In fact, he's always speaking in and through all things. Always. He is quiet because we shut him up. That's the reason he's quiet. Because you shut him up yourself. And so all praises to the most high that this wisdom may be imparted onto you so that we can get better. But I'm going to tell you like this. I'm about to do a video that will really, really. And, and I believe this is this is the thing that, that 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 we need to understand is that we need to right now figure out where we are. And in which state and what manner we are in so that we can understand the time we currently live in. Because e even in judgment, people will not be admitting that it is judgment. So doesn't that now alarm you to try to seek out if the state, if the case is in fact real and true? And so in order to seek that out. We must know how to look. We must know how to perceive and weigh out the evidence of things happening. Weigh out the evidence from things happening right now. As they happen, as men continue to walk against the Most High, see how terrible their situation is becoming. But then you also need to understand and look for the evidence of what things become for those that walk according to the Most High. And you need to be that one walking according to Him so that you can see your own evidence for yourself. Self-evident, right? Your self-derived evidence or self-work-derived evidence. I'm trying to say it in a way so as y'all don't get full of pride or whatever have you. Because we all walk equally, equitably, and on one accord. We all walk equally in the Most High. The only distinction is that we have developed in us. That is the only distinction. So, now, family. When you say, I am in judgment now, the sense of urgency will consume you. The sense of, or, or, or the fear of not having enough will also consume you and the reason i tell you that is so that it does not consume you and to let you know that you are not alone that i myself has have experienced these things these setbacks but you have the power and the ability to overcome all setbacks that the devil because these attributes these habits are within you tries to tell you I guarantee you the Father's arms are always stretched out. He's always ready to receive you. He's always blessing you. Even in your sin. Even in your shortcomings. Even in your downfalls. The Father is always there. So stay encouraged at all times. There's never no amount of sin. That's only man's thinking because of these attributes. There's never no amount of sin. That you can do that he would say. Oh you're not worthy enough to turn to me. I tell you now. That each and every one of us can. And turn around and in the fact that we're living you understand what i'm saying an unforgivable sin means death for you the fact that you're still living each and every breath you breathe is a chance you are all not yet reprobate in your mind that you are incapable of hearing the wisdom enough well enough to turn around each and every one of us can at one instance and in single moment turn around and say father forgive me i am sorry i have done wrong men are freely choosing see reprobate leaves them without the excuse or the ability to turn around no i'm telling you we are all self-reprobate as well we make ourselves reprobate we choose to be locked away from the Most High. To be uh, 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 kept away from His open arms at all times. Yeah, even the, if the reprobate decided to humble himself and turn around. Like Nebuchadnezzar. He will be able to turn around. And come from his reprobate state of mind. And all it takes is every need. To bow. And yeah, every tongue. Confess. There is only one God, one most high, one ruler of all, and that is your father.
the Father of Spirits, the one great spirit, the all person, the most high. Peace and blessings.